Okay, so here's the deal. It's a Saturday night and I'm watching YouTube alone and by myself. And I come across this video by Jazzy Red. He's built a lie detector in Minecraft. I mean, it doesn't really detect lies, only player movement, so it's kind of like a lie within itself, a bit like lieception. It's not exactly breaking into people's houses and measuring their sweat levels for an accurate reading, but I get what he was going for. It's just a bit of fun. I won't hold it against you, Jazzy Red. But I will hold this knife, though. So why am I telling you all of this? Well, it's because I, uh, stole his design completely for my own nefarious purposes. You see, his redstone over there, I stole it. His design's over there. I stole them. And his dignity? Well, he gets to keep that. He did make it after all. Just kidding, I stole it. Who needs to learn redstone when I can just take it from people who actually know what they're doing? So here it is in game, the lie detector, in all its blocky glory. Except I don't particularly care about detecting lies, I mean, that's what a gun is for. No, what interests me is, like usual, what's underneath. Oh yeah, baby, redstone. So check this out. Over here, Jazzy Red has made this huge redstone conveyor belt that can push a metric ton of blocks around in a predetermined loop. How it works is by these slimestone modules along the bottom. Each one acts as a sort of mini flying machine, pushing stuff along one block at a time. What this does is it effectively extends a piston's push limit, up from the standard measly 12 blocks. So you put a bunch of these modules in a row and you end up with what you see before you, a giant flying floor. And this, this was the basis of what I've been working on. Because I saw this conveyor belt and I thought to myself, Ah, oh, that's pretty neat. I wonder if I can make anything cool with that. And that was my mistake, ladies and gentlemen. That was the beginning of my descent into madness, of anger and hate. The last couple of days have been pretty rough on me. So my original idea for a minigame involving this big conveyor belt is using concrete powder. We can randomly have it fall onto the platform and move along. So that we can give the player a wooden sword with knockback and then have an armor stand so we can knock it through and try to dodge the obstacles. But as you can probably plainly see from the video, the powder is not moving with the floor, nor is the armor stand, nor is the player. So this entire idea I just proposed is basically impossible. Or so I thought, because what if we put slime blocks embedded within the conveyor belt and then have the powder strategically placed on top using timings? Well, in that case, the powder would move along. This could be a possible answer to actually allow me to do the thing I want to do. In fact, the modules do allow for pushing slime. Check this out. It's one ticked, so it isn't properly connected. We can actually make a conveyor of slime. Check that out. Except when you actually put it into practice and try to feed slime in from the side, it gets stuck on this piston here. So if I try to activate this, it breaks the entire machine. Come on, break. See, see, that piston moved! The piston moved! I have ran into a dead end because of Minecraft mechanics, ruining my goddamn fun! And I would just like to point out that this would entirely be easy and possible in the April Fool snapshot with the potatoes with a flotator which can just move blocks and players, but no! We can't have that, can we, Mojang? I curse ye hammy ha, Mojang! Curse ye hammy ha! So it appears like my ideas aren't exactly panning out. Again. I need to somehow make a moving barrier without placing any blocks on top of the giant treadmill to actually act as a barrier. I have once again found myself fenced in by Minecraft's crude mechanics. Wait a second. Fenced in? Fences? <gasps> I can use walls! Walls are 1.5 blocks tall. They can still be pushed by pistons. Alongside fences, they're actually the only blocks in the entire game with this specific set of properties. This will totally not come back later to bite me in the ass. My idea was I can place fences embedded within the conveyor belt itself to act as the barriers. I mean, sure, they're only sticking out half a block. I can just walk over them, but that can be worked around. My problem now, though, is the barriers have a set pattern within the conveyor belt. It's a loop, after all, and the players could just memorize the pattern, and that's no fun. I like to torment people. So I had to add randomization. Okay, so basically this was my idea to do it. We were going to insert fences in real time in between the pauses as it moves. Let's say this line here is that line of the big conveyor belt. When I press this button, we can see that we're swapping it for a fence. If I was to hit it again, 
it swaps it for a normal block. So I added a whole bunch of our block swappers on one end of the conveyor belt, and this should swap it in real time. You'll also notice that one of the 15 layers is in gray and does not have a block swapper attached to it. Instead, it has these composters. The reason why is as the belt spins round, the composters start moving. And when they reach this comparator, that's when the block swappers finally activate. Except I messed up somewhere in the redstone, because you'll notice it's not actually keeping it straight. They're getting all wibbly and wobbly. What's up with it? In fact, if you just keep the machine running, you'll see it just gets even more messed up. It's all gibbly gobbly gobbly. However, I thought to myself, well, I wanted randomization. This is pretty random. Maybe happy little accidents. Maybe I just make this work. So I made it out of concrete and I added a play area over here. Now obviously just standing here, it's super easy to just walk around all the fences. So I tried to restrict the player movement in an interesting way by having a pig be the player character and you instead wait above and lead him about. See the player character, I am the pig and I lead him about. And this worked. As a mini game, this technically does work. But you need to ask yourself, is it fun? And the answer is no, this is so boring. So I went back to the drawing board and I actually fixed up my design so it doesn't completely randomize it by adding the slime here. I made the barrier slightly closer together to make it harder and I added a play area for the actual player. This is done by having trapdoors above so you can't jump, meaning you're forced to be pushed by the fences. Check this out. See, into the lava, I would die then. This is a bit more interesting, please let me out, please let me out. However, that's running the game at 400% speed. At the normal game speed, this is what you'd be dealing with. And I gotta be honest, this is slow and boring and cringe. And I tried to make it more engaging by adding a point system. These dispensers at the end would occasionally randomly dispense an item. And the idea is this item would get pushed by the fences towards the player. Check this out, see that? So when the player is in the actual play area, snowballs will slowly come towards them and they'll need to take a risk versus reward at actually trying to collect them four points. But in practice, this doesn't work. Why? Because the fences have goddamn holes in them and they fall through. They fall through the map. And, and you know how I said earlier that fences and walls are the only blocks in the game with this property? Yeah, they both have gaps in them, meaning I'm screwed. Oh, how dare I? How dare I actually have to use my brain to make something? Gah! So guess what? I just had to resort to giving the player a projectile. Let's just have some stupid targets at the end, which randomly flip in and out using target blocks, and then I'll just give the player a trident or something. Oh, look at this. They have to throw the trident at the stupid target blocks. Can I even get this? Hey! So I decided to build the entire thing again, give it a different color scheme, and then make it a 1v1. And I instead actually made the target blocks do something. The general idea is if a target block is hit and you're in this play area, you might find yourself restricted trying to get to like that block, for example. Now the mini game is a bit more engaging because if I turn it on, not only do I have to watch where I'm actually going for cover, but I need to look away and try to aim my targets as well, which are constantly changing position. I'm not completely sold if this game is fun or boring, but it's the best I got and all my other ideas didn't work. So. So the next step from there is to actually hide all of this redstone under a nice exterior. So this is what I went with. It looks a bit temple-ish to me. I've also decided to give it a name. I've decided to call it Move Hit. Because, you know, you move and you hit the tridents. You like to move hit, move hit. Look, it's the best I got. But here to test and face me at my own mini game is Cringy Goal. Mo move Hit. <laughs> You, you like to move it, move it? <laughs> oh my gosh. You can't memorize it because I've, I've made it so it is randomly generated as well. Well, I mean, even if it wasn't randomly generated, <laughs> how would I even memorize this, dude? <laughs> it's pretty self-explanatory and honestly, it looks super fun. So I'm keen to give it a go. It's so, so long as my ping allows for it. Like, I don't know how that's going to go. You picked someone from the bottom and other side of the world to you <laughs> to play a mini game that involves <laughs> heaps of pistons and aiming. And precise timing, yeah. Yeah. And of course, it's uh, whoever lives the longest wins. First okay. one to die. <laughs> ah, hey! <laughs> Three, 
two, one, go. Okay. Okay. Oh. Hey, I got one straight away. Oh. oh. What happened? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was easy. I win. <laughs> go. Ha ha. Oh, you did. You, you almost ha -ha. got me. Ha ha. I don't know. <laughs> You're gonna oh, do no. that every time. Oh, no. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I've got a new strategy in mind. One that you will not be able to defeat. Mo moving? <laughs> yeah, moving. Yeah. Go. All right, so Cringy Girl here is about to win the game because he's just that good. He's just gonna move it, move it, and, and oh no, he's lagging. No, he's dying. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you can't, really? Maybe I need to slow this down for you. It seems oh, a little no, too no, fast. Speed it up, speed it up, come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Okay, I'm ready when you are. You get to decide it. Oh, oh, you didn't even give me a warning. <laughs> what? You can't just do that. <laughs> well, I just did. <laughs> I've been to Antarctica no. and back and I've got snowballs. Literally cheating. Literal cheater. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Come on. Oh, you. no, 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 it no. It just takes no. one good piston. Yeah, there we are. <laughs> I tell you what, you know, the score might be 25,000 to like one, but I'm gonna offer you a deal, a one-time deal. Yes. The winner of the next one, the next one is the winner of them all. Easy, easily, I, that is fair. I can't imagine <laughs> you're gonna say no to that after the, yes. <laughs> your shameful display. <laughs> this one, this one's the this serious is, one. This is all the, the marbles. This is oh, the one. I gotta run for it. You're the one, Neo. Okay, I'm good. Uh, oh, there's one. Oh, other end. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Oh, I can get squished. Come on. This is, this is going on a while. This is a serious match. A duel. Hmm. I wonder. Are you typing in commands? No. No, what is this? No, <laughs> come on. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what was that about? Oh, no, it looks like you lost. How could you? So cringy. What did you think of my game? Okay. Rude.